Well, to quote to certain Paul Cook, I'm not one of these modern managers who ever gets anything positive out of defeat. You must have got some positives no. out of that. No, I, the lads are very disappointed in there, Phil, because they've acquitted themselves really well in a very... It's a difficult place to come, Scunthorpe, at the best of times, you know. Russell's had a fantastic induction into management, hasn't he? He's, he's got a fantastic home record here. They've had, gone a long time unbeaten last year, like ourselves, to find in a way in League One at the minute. And, you know, he's done a really good job here. So it was a difficult game for our young boys tonight. But, you know, of course, I'm pleased with them. You know, you're trying to create something at a football club that's, you know, that are fit, that are strong, that move the ball and that can play the game. And tonight we had a lot of lads coming on, making the debut, starting the games, finishing the games. And you know, that was really pleasing to see. Your two wingers and your two central defenders showed uh, glimpses that you think you could trust them uh, off the bench at the at the very least, couldn't you? Well, a good thing for us all, Phil. I think going forward now we can look forward to playing against Scunthorpe at home and you know not against the, the lads in the start eleven tonight with a lot stronger squad and that's the pleasing thing for me. We've now got ten days. You know the likelihood is we can seriously get stuck into Gary Roberts. The likelihood is O'Shea will be fit. Rich Humphries are fit. Sam Klukas comes into the fray. Ian Everts back in the fray. Ollie Banks has got 90 minutes under his belt. Dan Gardner's now a week post up. So we're, we're really pleased that the Swindon game's being called off. We look forward to seeing Scunthorpe at home. And, you know, again, I thank our supporters for coming across tonight because it's never easy when you watch your team get beat.